So that is like amazing. That is an amazing salary as a new graduate. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So a lot of you guys have been asking about this and so I said, let me do a little bit of research because I wanna know too. So what is the median salary that a PA makes? Like what's the average salary, right? And with the profession just on the rise, it has only gotten better, you guys. Forbes has this thing out, um, just talking about the salaries that the PA made. I will leave that link um, to the actual article in the description box below for you guys so you guys can check it out yourselves but it just gives a little bit of a comparison with the new authority the perspective authority that we have through OTP what the salary is and how it has raised um, just recently so average on average a PA makes about a hundred and two thousand dollars a year <laughs> I know that in the state that I'm in and in the city that I'm in at some of the hospitals here, a new grad can make upwards to 130,000 if you're working in the ER. So that is like amazing. That is an amazing salary as a new graduate, 25, 26, 27, you know, 33, 42, however old you are coming out that you can make that much money just coming out straight out of school. That's honestly like that's beyond, that's, you know, that's actually like an anomaly. That's not what all new grads make coming out of school, but that is what can happen here in this state and city that I'm in. However, the average salary is about $102,000. Um, $102, Generally, it can run a little bit lower, like $98,000, a little bit higher, um, $111,000, $130,000. Um, that's all with incentives and sign-on bonuses and such, but that's generally speaking the average. Um, I know that Forbes stated that with the new perspective authority that's actually going on in the PA profession, that... Um, 43 states have uh, actually like adopted this and any of the states that have adopted the full you know kind of perspective authority um, which is OTP the average salary has gone from $103,879 to $106,594 so that is a that's a nice little pretty jump you know that's $3,000 extra um, a year that they are now getting and I think that it's only going to rise um, as more people get gain access to health care as the baby boomers start to retire and need, you know, a little bit more health care, the profession is only going to rise and the demand is only going to rise and therefore the salary is only going to rise. So currently it's about $106,000, but it's only um, going to go up from here. Uh, there are 43 states plus the District of Columbia that have a actually adopted the full perspective authority, which is OTP, meaning that you're able to collaborate with the physician. You no longer need them to sign off. You're not like dependent as you were before. Everything is de determined at the actual practice level as opposed to like state and national level. So that's actually like a benefit with respect to salary and what is expected coming out of school and you know what you can look forward to when you are negotiating those contracts. There are some states that still need to come on board obviously but 43 is not bad like that's a, a good number to start off with. So Kudos to you, 43 states and the District of Columbia. And um, this article came out actually maybe four days ago. So who knows? Maybe something happened within these last four days where some other states came on. But we don't know quite sure yet. So we'll, we'll continue to look out for that one. Um, so specifically APA um, actually says that PAs will tend to make an an additional like two to four thousand dollars more annually so the actual salary is only going to rise about two to four thousand dollars more annually but i honestly see that happening um i think that's a really modest rise i think it's going to be a little bit more than that especially as pa schools become more competitive um as 
the PA profession becomes more widely known. Um, and as you know, PAs go out there and do some amazing things, I think it's only going to be um, a lot more money uh, that they're gaining annually each year. So for the states who have adopted, um, actually like no longer needing any type of co-signature or um, you're just actually determining things at the practice level, I believe there's 29 states per Forbes. Um, the actual salary is $107,000. <sighs> as opposed to the $104,000. So again, as the more autonomy comes, that salary is gonna only rise. And um, the, the best way of making things like that happen is just by going out there and being great practitioners, really serving your community, serving those people that you're trying to help and, and doing an amazing job, job and showing that PAs can do it. Um, we can do that. And you know, it's kind of disheartening, like you all, like. You almost feel like, you know, like a little child, like, yes, we are the babies in the profession. We're like, man, like we can do this. Like, hey, big brother, I can do this. I can do that, too. Um, so you kind of feel like you're just striving and fighting for um, the opportunities that you feel like you should already have, that you know that you can do. Um, but at this point in time, that's something that we have to do. Everyone has gone through their growing pains. Um, NPs had to do it, and now PAs are doing it. And we'll get there, you guys. So don't worry about that, all right? We will definitely get there. All right, so just to give you guys a little bit more of insight on the trends that have actually happened, um, Meredith Hawkins uh, stated that the starting salary for PAs in 2017 jumped to $120,000. And again, that is with incentives and bonuses, sign-on bonuses and such. But that is in comparison to $114,000 last year and $107,000 in 2015. So as you can see, it's like, you know, $7,000 is being tacked on for its sign on bonuses and it's only going to rise. So this is a great profession to be in. It's a great time to join the profession. Um, it's a great time to apply to PA schools and get into PA schools and become a PA because the profession is on the rise. You can find areas where you're able to get really nice um, signing on bonuses and really great starting salaries. And ultimately, you're still able to help your family, but also serve the community, which is what it's all about. So again, the average salary or so is about a hundred um, and two thousand dollars, like just starting off. But you have your higher ends and your lower ends. And as OTP continues to take um, root in these different states, it's only going to rise. Um, so hopefully you guys are excited as I am about the future um, and what it holds for the PA profession. I cannot wait to see where we are in 10 years and um, even 10 years after that, how much the landscape has changed. But I know it's gonna be amazing. Um, go out there and do some more research, you guys. Figure it out and um, pave the way and you guys will you know, just better the profession for those coming up behind you. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for requesting this. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back to it. Thanks, talk to you later, bye.